what are we recording today? Is this today? a good, good enough angle for you? Okay, what? so I'm buying the uh, Lamborghini Huracan STO. Really excited about that. I knew you like the RX-7. Huh? So this is the most hardcore Lamborghini ever released. Damn, that is fucking uh, sick. Yeah, so I'm super excited about it. It's based off the Super Trofeo race Lamborghini you see here, and then that's the street version we can buy. It looks better than the Trofeo. If you see this front end, yeah, we're like, hey, that looks amazing. But what you don't notice to most consumers, this is all one piece. This bumper, this hood, this fender is all one piece. So they did it all one piece um, to reduce weight course simpler production it's a race car that's legal for the street i like the color yeah it's really neat so this is what they call the sto livery a themed graphics package it comes i think in four different color packages that you can pick as well as custom colors if you actually pay close attention do you see how it starts widening it's a wide body it is a factory wide body yes i think it pushes out about maybe two inches compared to a stock car ccmr is the braking system that is actually formula one brembo brakes that they're actually producing for the street for this car as far as i know even a bugatti chiron doesn't even have brakes like this this is formula one Whoa. braking for a street race car 75 percent of the car's chassis uh the body is made of carbon fiber which is really unique too factory race car comes with four point seat belts that it's nuts. This is the press release for Lamborghini. I got a hold of this. It basically tells you who they're targeting for a customer. Gentleman driver or the racing enthusiast. I probably fall more into the gentleman driver part of it. Where's it looks like a freaking Need for Speed Lamborghini. That's what makes this car awesome. Uh, supposedly it's limited to 500 cars in the entire world. You don't have to do anything to it. Probably do wheels, but the only reason I'll do wheels is the factory wheels are magnesium, so they're probably twenty, thirty thousand dollars I wouldn't oh. I would be really afraid of crashing that and you couldn't even repair that. In case anything happens, it would happen to the forged wheels I buy. That's so funny how the yeah. forged wheels are now like the cheaper wheels. Yeah, and <laughs> magnesium wheels, if you don't know, magnesium wheels, let's just say if it's a 20 inch wheel, most aluminum wheels will probably be between 20, 28 pounds. A magnesium wheel might be between 15 and 17 pounds. Graph of performance, the STO being the dark blue. The most extreme uh, Lamborghini you can buy is this orange checker. So basically, it just tells you driving comfort. Obviously, the ST Evo is extremely uncomfortable. Yeah. Because the further out you are, the closer you are to driving comfort. But as a performance car, what we're looking for is aerodynamics and performance consistency and lap time. So the further, as you can see, the STO is pretty far out there. So it gives you the best balance of performance and it's street legal enough to drive. Pure race bred car, that's why I'm excited about this. Showing the aerodynamics, this is really neat. So as air enters uh, the front bumper, it actually exit from the center of the hood. If we had this car in person, if you looked at the bumper, you can actually look up and see out of the hood. It has no trunk space. The only trunk space it has is when you lift this whole front in, there's a small square section. You could put a racing helmet in there and that's all you put in the trunk is racing helmet. The rear spoiler actually has an opening in between to flow air. They designed this car to have the same aerodynamics as their race cars. This whole front end being one piece, Lamborghini calls it Cofango. Okay, so everyone loves fender vets, right? I mean, I think it was the Porsche GT3 that first brought it to production. People love it. Then you yeah. started seeing on aftermarket cars, body companies McLaren started having it yep uh, so Lamborghini is now doing something different they now have rear fender vents on the back now kind of hard to see in this picture but it has rear fender vents on the quarter panel oh why yeah. did anyone think of that yeah well they're like Porsche did the front we'll do the rear too <laughs> and we have a central shark fin which is awesome for people who love symmetry there's your shark fin now that's really neat dude look at the the end caps yeah they're not just like flat they're angular yeah you're able to angle this rear wing to give you more downforce or high speed stability the rear bonnet like most cars you just you know you press a button or pull a latch and the whole thing kind of pops up and you lift it up so this is one piece and these are press locks you actually to take off the rear to access the engine you actually have to lift off the entire cover 53 percent more downforce compared to a Huracan Performante. That's not just compared to a Huracan, but 53% more downforce than a Huracan Performante, which is their last highest performance supercar. Jeez. Yeah, this thing's insane. One of the most iconic Lamborghinis is the Lamborghini Mira, which is, you'll see in the uh, background, it had the same type of one piece uh, front end. That seems to make sense too, especially when you want it, to do work on it. 
Yeah, it definitely for race. The wheels being magnesium is pretty damn rare. Uh, usually only see that in million dollar cars. So in my opinion, this car is a freaking bargain. Remember I uh, told you how the rear bonnet had push locks? Yeah, those are it. So you part, yeah, you have this special unique 3D printed key that oh, that's you have so to put cool. and turn so not anyone could just open your Cofango or your rear bonnet. So and I like nice. that pattern. It's that uh, famous Lamborghini kind of Y pattern. So this is cool. They teamed up with Bridgestone to make tire specific to a Huracan STO. It's not kind of like picking up a Mission 4S in the correct size and hey, these are the tires, but the compound and everything's custom made uh, with asymmetry tread design just specifically for this car, which is really neat. What's also really unique about the Huracan STO, it is rear wheel drive. Sounds like it's gonna be higher pitch, sharper sounds at high revs. Oh, this is where the Mazda comes in. Feel like a pilot, it just feels right. Mazda, it just feels Huracan STO has what they call RWS, real time adjustment of toe and camber angles while you're driving. It's like it corrects the camber and the toe, full time alignment while you're driving the car. That's, that's crazy. I don't know how that happens. This kind of describes the different driving modes in the car. So the CCMR brakes are F1 braking systems. This is the braking system you see race cars driving and the rotors are glowing red and they're slamming on the brakes and it still works. So it seems like most consumers, there's no way we're gonna overheat these brakes. Just look at that. That's all the trunk can put in there. I think that's a titanium uh, roll bar. Here it looks like they tell you your brake fluid temperature as well as the age status. And they even tell you your brake disc wear status. That's yeah, really cool because it's a race car. You need to know the condition of all your fluids. This is serious. It's a serious race car. It's real. It has built-in cameras on the front of the bumper, which you're seeing here. This is the front bumper view as well as interior view in coordinating where you are exactly on the track. There you go. There's your phone app. That's really neat. Okay, so here's uh, the different liveries. We saw the blue one already. Um, I like this one a lot. I like I like the green with the red. Um, there's also that gray with the orange and the white with the blue. So the Lamborghini Huracan Performante was always impressive. Um, these are lap times at uh, Daytona Speedway. Performante does it in one minute, 51 seconds. The Huracan GT3 Evo, which is the race race car, does it one minute, 46 seconds. STO just takes two seconds longer, but it's almost four seconds faster than a Performante around the track, which is a lot. I'm gonna be configuring my car pretty soon. Uh, I'll see if we can get that on video for you guys to see. I'm actually ordering the car from uh, Lamborghini Chicago. Those are my guys over there. Um, hopefully. We we can do some sort of FaceTime video, kind of see the whole process of ordering the car. Oh, this beautiful old man. This is Joe Abbas, the owner of Gold Coast. Let me, let me finish, I'll call you back. Okay, bye. <laughs> Taylor's about to like hype this guy up. He's got to say like, yo, f you, I need to go do business. <laughs> he always does that. Okay, so these are all the color selection. So this looks like a gloss graphite color. Um, Bianco. Monoceros sounds like a disease. Nero Noctis. This looks like gloss black. Verde. Oh, man, that's me. Right? That's see, me. That's see, oh. I, like, I do like the black colors. That's see, but I want a, a satin color. Oh, wow, there's so much colors. Hey, Wood. They always have a lot of colors, though. Nero Granatus. Looks like there's a hint of like burgundy in that one. Verde Mantis. A lot of people like this. It only works with the red. Ah, the well. matte colors. Oh, here you go. Matte blue. Oh. Matte orange. Matte bronze. Oh, damn. There's some pretty neat colors. Matte avocado. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, balloon white. Balloon white, yeah. Here's a matte white. Here's a matte red. Oh, man, there's a lot. That's kind of cool. That's like the Lamborghini or Reventon color, I think. That's a matte. Cool. They even have matte yellow? Dude, there's a serious selection of colors. I don't know what to do now. They weren't kidding when they said limitless. Yeah, m matte purple. Holy purple is mean as hell, dude. Blue Uranus. <laughs> that's that's kind of neat, man. That's like a anodized blue. No, I'm gonna get the black, but I'm going to build um, anodized blue for another car. Buying two. <laughs> so we're gonna have a race car team at EVS. Okay, we got the blue. Okay, contrast color. We can play with some colors on here. So that was sticker pack three, which is the diamond stickers on the front and rear, which are these. There's a front lip sticker pack. Okay, that looks like that only comes in one color and that's white. Man, the black. Black is the color, huh? That's sick as f Okay, I'm gonna stick with black and green. As long as you can- I like the black as as you can see. Yeah, these are the magnesium wheels. 
vehicles. I would regret not having a collectible wheel that they don't produce anymore. And you know, to buy this aftermarket, it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg. Uh, you get the expensive wheels to take them off and have them get dust in the corner. Right. Okay, it's center it's locks. Good. Do we keep with black or got yeah, a little bit of red here? No, I would do black. That way, if you just had to change the wheel color, you know it's gonna match. Okay, that's right, so I don't have to buy another set. Okay, so that was just the exterior. We are now going to the interior. We want color contrast, so we're gonna go with the bi-color interior. The main color is gonna be black. That looks like that's standard. You have to have black as a standard base color. Okay, so let's see if we can get some different angles on the interior. Let's look at the seats. What do you think about that? Pretty neat. Yeah, it looks good. I mean, you really don't have much options for the seats because your car is right green. Okay. You can't do any of the color. Well, they have this thing called tone on tone or inverted stitching. So what is, what is that? So let me click and see if we can see the difference. Ah, okay. Piping. Piping is cool. Definitely. So piping. we do either green piping or it'll be more subtle. No, about. green piping. Green piping. Okay, we're gonna flex everything. Should I get fixed buckets? That's what that looks like. That's yeah. fixed buckets. Versus. It looks ugly as. Okay, you can kind of see the green seat belts right there. Interior trim. Of course we're gonna go for carbon. They have dry carbon for the exterior, but we're going with gloss. We are going with matte carbon right now because if we're picking a gloss car, we have matte carbon with dry carbon. Yeah. If we go with a matte finish, then we want wet carbon. Or you can have an all stealthy looking car. Get it all. You got two, yeah, you can choose God, the two different so much things. To choose. If you think about it, right, the normal person would think if I'm going satin, I need to go gloss carbon. That's what I'm saying. You well, that's to, you what, to, yeah. You need to think of a spec that you know. Oh, damn. Be one this guy one. went crazy stealth. That's what I'm saying. Though. You need to think of a spec that'd be one of one that you think that you make only to you. You know what I mean? Yeah, because everyone wants that yeah. contrast. Yeah. Those seats are cool, though. They look yeah. like a wings. So they, so they do have bucket seats. Imagine buying a race car and then not getting the race car option. So now let's go to options. Design. What oh, is design sky pack? <laughs> Okay, so we got Design Pack 1, which contrasts, contrasting exterior, yeah. adhesive, adhesive livery, sports seats with sporty two-tone. Hey, wait, am I really that wrong? This is literally just the Italian demon. <laughs> oh my God, the lifting system is not standard. There's a travel package? What's in the travel package, guys? It, okay, the travel package comes with a cup holder Whoa. and a smocker package. Wow, a cup holder, holy wow, fuck. smocker. Smocker. What's a smocker? Apple CarPlay interface, yes. yes. Do I need an extra year of warranty? No, you're Do I need cruise control? That's not gonna add any weight. Apple cruise control doesn't add any weight. It's literally the same button, but instead of blank, so? it has cruise control on it. And then someone might actually like that? Yeah, who wouldn't like cruise control? There's literally not a single person that wouldn't be like, oh man, I wish this car didn't have cruise control. But it doesn't add any weight. But, but do you look it's at it as a... It's a, literally, they take a blank button no, and they make it work. I need you to give me a car that just has Wheels, steering wheel, no, so like, do the basic. If you, so track track, if you saw steering wheel, if you saw cruise control, you'd hate that. No, well, track, they, they just don't want all those buttons. They just want But the simple. button is there no matter what. It's just a matter of if you can click it or not. race cars is because they just want, literally, they hop in, all they have is an upshift, downshift. Comment down below, what should I get cruise control like, on this car? 2,000 years later. Finalize on a matte black STO. We're gonna go with the Nero Verde Selvans. We're also gonna do the magnesium, the bronze magnesium wheels. Uh, we're going with a black center lock with carbon fiber in the center. On the brakes, we're gonna go with the green calipers, matte carbon fiber on all the exterior. And I'm hoping the interior will be matte carbon fiber as well. On the interior seating, we're gonna go with Nero Cosmos and we're gonna have the Verde Fonz accent uh, to contrast with that. Four point seat belts. Uh, the standard seat belts that come with the car is also gonna be Verde Fonz, which is the green. Floor mats, we're gonna pick that in carbon fiber. Steering wheel will be full Alcantara with the green stitching on there. The cruise control system, that's debatable. We're gonna have the lifting system, the travel package, which is the cup holder and the cigarette lighter. Rear view camera, design pack, and a three years of maintenance. Share this to my guy. All right, there you go. We completed our configuration. This should be what we get, unless uh, I change my mind. We might see this car in about four to six months, is my guess. So there you guys have it. New Lamborghini STO is kind of be coming to the shop. Like usual, we'll keep you guys updated once it comes in. We'll show you what it looks like. We're really excited about that, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. We will see you next time.